All right, we're going to start with a basic um, introduction to angles. And so, very basic, what is an angle? An angle is what is made when two rays come together, and they have the same starting point. And so you've got one ray, maybe one ray is called BA, and the other ray is called BC. And so where they meet, we're talking about this right here, that angle. And so B is called the vertex, and then these two rays are the sides of the angle. And so we could call this angle B. You always name it by the vertex. So we could call it angle B, and you make this little angle symbol. Or you could call it angle ABC or angle CBA. What's important is the vertex has to be in the middle. It doesn't matter um, if A comes first or C comes first, but B has to be in the middle. And when would you use three letters over one letter is if, say, you had another angle that was touching it, and you didn't know if you said angle B if you are talking about that one or this one. So if there's some confusion about which one you might be talking about, you better include all three letters. Now, if we just say this, we're talking about the angle. And kind of like lengths, um, angles are congruent. And so we could say angle B is congruent to angle C. To make that look more like a C. But if we're talking about things being equal, we say the measure of angles. Now, measures of angles measured in degrees. But this was more so talking about a symbol. And so you say measure of angle B, read as measure of angle. And you always include this when it's equal to, say, a number some, maybe it's 35 degrees, because you would never say just angle B without the M. And so just like without the segment it meant length, with the M it means the measure of the angle. So we have a couple different special angles. An acute angle is a little cute angle. And so this is an example of an acute, or this could be an example of an acute. Anything less than 90, where it's bigger than zero, less than 90. Because it's, if it's equal to 90, then you have a right angle. And right angles, we represent the ones with this little box in the angle so you can know it's right. If it's not, if it doesn't have that, you don't necessarily know it's a right angle. Equal to 90 degrees, right on the dot. An obtuse angle is when it's between 90 and 180. Most most people just think, oh, it's bigger than 90. Um, so if it's bigger than 90, but less than 180. And so this could be an obtuse angle. Maybe that, something like that. And then if you have a, an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees, it's called a straight angle, because essentially it makes a straight line. 180 degrees. So that's your straight angle. Now, again, angles can be congruent. You use just the angle symbol. But if you're talking about the angle measures, we can say the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle C. Or we say the measure of angle B equals 35. You would never say angle B equals 35. All right, so how do you actually measure angles? You need one of these. It's called a protractor. Some of them look different. But essentially, you have angles being measured all the way, and this line right here is what I'm going to use. And so you stick it right on the vertex of your angle, and then use one of them as your line. Now this one I already know looks acute, so I'm looking for a number less than 90. And so you, and I'm going to line that up down here, extend your lines. I did it for time's sake. But so you've got 30, 1, 2, three, four. So 34 degrees. Make sure you ignore the bigger ones because I've got 140, 150 over here, but we know that's way too big. Now, flip it around. I'm going to use this one to measure that. You can line it up like this. We could also turn it like this. Either way works. I'm going to do it this way. And so I've got my vertex right on that dot, 
right here. I've got it lined up over here, right on my line. And I'm going around, and it looks like it's about, and look at the 10, 20, 30, all the way around. Looks like it's right around 130, maybe 130.5. Yeah, if you make sure you're lined up. So it's 130 degrees. So there you have it. Moving on. Just like we had the segment addition postulate, we have the angle addition postulate, meaning part plus the part equals the whole. So angle AOC and angle COD if you add the two measures up, you get the angle of the big angle. So measure of angle AOD, in this case, would be 37 plus 51, which equals, well, you've got 8, 88 degrees. Now, suppose EFG is a right angle, meaning 90 degrees. Find the measure of EFH and HFG. Now, they didn't give us anything about it except that these two angles, they gave us the X's in them. So what we're going to want to use is the fact that we know it's a right angle. And so that the measure of angle EFH plus the measure of angle HFG equals the measure of EFG. Essentially, the part, 3x plus 14, plus the other part, x minus 4, is equal to 90 degrees. And the whole problem rests on being able to, to write this first equation. And so now we have 3x plus x, which makes 4x. 14 minus 4 is 10. You have 90 degrees. So if you subtract the 10 from both sides, you get 4x equals 80. Divide by 4, you get x equals 20. Now that's 20. And so if we want to find angle EFH, and measure of angle HFG, we've got to plug it back in. So 3 times 20 3 times 20 is 60 plus 14 is 74 degrees, and 20 minus 4 is 16. And 74 plus 16 is 90, so we're in good shape. Now, next problem, ABC is a straight angle. So it's going to be very, very similar, except a straight angle, we have to know, it's 180 degrees. Also, we're going to talk about this being called a linear pair um, in the next one. But so this time we're going to have the 2x minus 5 plus 3x plus 20 equals 180 degrees. And so you have 2x and 3x make 5x. Negative 5 and 20 make 15, and you get 180. Subtract the 15. 5x equals 165. And 165 divided by 5 is 33. And this one just asks you to solve for x. You could plug that back in, solve for, um, solve for the two angles, double check that they add up to 180. Um, so we have angle ABC, and I'm going to draw this a little bit more to scale. But so we have angle ABC, and angle ABC is 168 degrees. A, B, C. And B, D is on the interior. Measure of angle A, B, D is 6x minus 15. Measure of angle C, B, D is x plus 8. And now our 168 sort of turned up in a, in a rough spot, so I'm going to do this. Sorry about that. I'm going to draw it all the way around, and this is 168. 
And anyways, we've got this part plus this part equals the whole. So 6x minus 15 plus x plus 8 equals 168. So the x's added together give you 7x. Negative 15 and a positive 8 give us a negative 7. And so if we add 7 to both sides to cancel out this plus 7, we get 175. And if you do 175 divided by 7, you get 25. So we get 25. Now what was the question? Well, we wanted to find ABD. And ABD is this one right here. Measure of angle ABD is equal to 6 times 25 minus 15. 6 times 25 minus 15 is 135. Because you got 150 minus 15. Notice that we're including the M in front of it when we're talking about the measure of the angle. There you have angles. How to measure them, angle addition postulate, how to set up equations. Also things you want to look out for are bisectors. Angles can be bisected and that would mean that you could set your equations equal to each other, your expressions equal to each other.